for there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect behold I've told you before wherefore if they shall say unto you behold he is in the desert go not forth behold he is in the secret chambers believe it not for as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Israelites, it is important to be vigilant. The kingdom of darkness is persistent and will stop at nothing to destroy you. Satan and his angels wants to be worshipped like the Most High. In addition, encourage many to rebel against the Most High. The scripture says Satan prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he can devour. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. A lion roar after it catches its prey. The scriptures inform us that Satan is constantly roaming the earth. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord, and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. How many Israelites are relentlessly seeking the face of the Most High? If Satan is on the prowl every day, Israelites should be seeking the Most High every day. Do not become prey for the kingdom of darkness. It is important to be vigilant, especially at such a time like this. Just because you gain victory today, it does not mean Satan will stop attacking you. Satan will increase the attack. You must be prepared to fight. Remember, you were born on a battlefield. Now is not the time to get comfortable. It is time that many Israelites become uncomfortable to push them to do something about their situations. The times of Jacob trouble has been here. Just because the Most High said he would save us out of it does not conclude we sit back and do nothing. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The Most High has been pushing his people to protect themselves and stand firm. Fighting back does not mean protesting and boycotting, nor does fighting back mean you are taking vengeance. The workers of iniquity observes us daily. They keep their eyes on all of us. They are vigilant and they pay attention to what we do. When the enemy observe, it gives them the opportunity to come up with solutions to counter the rise of the indigenous people. Israelites, your enemies are observing and investing in you to stay close to you. They invest for a takeover. How many successful black businesses and inventions the heathens have stolen? The heathens took your identity. The Black Lives Matter was hijacked by heathens to start a race war. The opponents in this war are heathens versus heathens, and you are the prize. The winning team will become your new masters. The heathens are not professing Black Lives Matter because they care about you. They say Black Lives Matter to win your trust to further deceive you. Remember when Kaepernick was taking a knee? His protest was hijacked and now the workers of iniquity are the face to his protest. The heathens are not protesting to save you. Why would they protest a system that is supporting and feeding their family? A system that favors them and keep them in control. The workers of iniquity will stop at nothing to keep you at the bottom. High level workers of iniquity know the importance of keeping their victim close and studying their every move. If anything were to happen, the victims would never suspect a close friend or family. Many Israelites have heathen friends that are toxic to them. Because that one heathen friend is nice and hide his or her barbaric side, they look past the red flags. When the enemy turn on them, they are shocked. The heathens remain close to maintain their dominance. In addition, it is easier to program their victims and use their victims to transfer their ideology to other indigenous people. Satan cannot be everywhere at the same time. That is why he roams the earth. Satan set up principalities and other fallen angels in different regions of this world to control all the kingdoms of this world.
In addition, appoint workers of iniquity, the scriptures refer to as spiritual wickedness in high places, to manifest his will in the physical realm and to make sure the beast system remains in power. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. The workers of iniquity utilize monitoring spirits to get an update on you. Monitoring spirits show up in various ways. The most popular forms are animals and familiar spirits in the spirit realm. Familiar spirits show up in the spirit realm in faces of dead relatives and people you know. The workers of iniquity use witchcraft powers to send out monitoring spirits to spy on their victims. Technology spy and report your location and your web searches to government agencies. The kingdom of darkness is watching you to learn your weaknesses to better oppress you. It is important, Israelites, to be vigilant. When you are alert, you can see the enemy's every move. In addition, the warnings coming from the Most High. Israelites are quick to trust a heathen. Many Israelites live among their enemies as if they live among allies and friends. The scriptures say you live in the land of your enemies and those who hate you will rule over you. In addition, these so-called heathen friends of yours conspired against you. And I will set my face against you and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Many Israelites are aware of the various strategies the enemy use against them. However, many Israelites remain complacent. Israelites would discuss what the workers of iniquity via the kingdom of darkness is doing, but nobody would act or take a stand against the enemy. We need leadership in the Israelite community. The heathens are fighting against the awakening in various ways. Their attacks are subtle. If Israelites do not maintain their relationship with the Most High and become vigilant, they will miss the subtle attack against our freedom. The heathens stir the pot and hide their hens. Division is one of the top strategies the kingdom of darkness utilize. If Satan can keep us fighting among ourselves, Israelites would be unprepared for battle. When the kingdom of darkness attack, you will lose. Too many Israelites are preoccupied with doctrines of devils. Israelites, it is important that you put on the armor of Yah to stand against the enemy. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Having a personal relationship with the Most High would open your spiritual eyes to see what is happening. The awakening is taking over and spreading. Satan is looking for ways to utilize the awakening to benefit himself and his people. Satan imitate everything the Most High does. By imitating the Most High, that is how Satan deceived the whole world. It was prophesied that the Israelites would return to their heritage and serve the Elohim of Israel. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God, and shalt be obedient unto his voice. For the Lord thy God is a merciful God. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers which he swore unto them. Many Israelites are leaving behind paganism and returning to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. The impostors cannot return to their heritage because they never forgot their heritage. They take pride in practicing their culture religion. The impostors can supposedly trace their family to King David, yet all of them are converts. How can converts trace their bloodline to King David? This is how the so-called converts hold claim to the Israelite bloodline. You can convert to a religion, not a bloodline. These impostors know nothing about the Israelite bloodline or the Most High. They make it up as they go. Their lies expose them. Remember, their father is the father of lies. The Most High said his people, the Israelites, would discontinue from the heritage he has given them. In addition, they would serve their enemies in a land they are unfamiliar with. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, 
and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn for ever. The impostors has returned to the so-called promised land. They made their return without the help of the Most High. They are not fulfilling prophecy. Remember, Satan must imitate everything the Most High does to deceive. The impostors are not serving their enemies in the land they know not. Everyone is serving them. How can a slave live in their land of captivity and have laws change? In addition, they are richer than their masters. Say the wrong thing and you will see how quick you become anti-Semitic. Lose your job and all your endorsements like Nick Cannon. Your YouTube channel shadow banned and censored. If the life the imposters live is the definition of oppression, sign me up. If the people of the Most High would stop rejecting knowledge, the Holy Spirit would open their eyes and give them eyes to see and ears to hear. If you observe your enemies and remain alert, just as the Most High command his people, we would have awakened from the spirit of slumber a long time ago. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears they should not hear unto this day. The self-righteous garment they love to wear are exposing them. Israelites, the reason the Most High want you to be alert, especially at such a time like this, the kingdom of darkness is setting the stage to imitate major prophecies. The kingdom of darkness is trying to usher in the abomination of desolation in a discreet way. The Holy Spirit must open your eyes to see the subtle ways Satan is planting those seeds. Before the abomination of desolation can stand in the holy place, the identity of the false Messiah must be revealed. I recently did a message on the two messiahs. The false messiah that came in his own name and the world received is the one many will choose. The scripture said, broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many are on that road. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. If you've been paying attention, the imposters has been running commercials on certain Israelite channels. They are running their ads on this channel. In those ads, the imposters are now accepting the Jewish Messiah. Israelites, two things are happening. This is the so-called awakening of the imposters. Remember, they cannot awaken to their heritage because they never lost their heritage. The kingdom of darkness is using the Messiah they denied as the gateway to imitate an awakening for the imposters. Satan must imitate the Most High. The Israelites in the pagan church have been waiting for the Jewish Messiah for a long time. The kingdom of darkness is setting the stage to bring forth the long-awaited brown-haired, blue-eyed Messiah. The workers of iniquity in the commercial are saying they have been deceived. In addition, they say there are no Bibles in Israel. They are seeking assistance via donation to distribute the Bible to the people in Israel. Israelites, this is why you cannot trust nonprofit organizations. These imposters have the power to have laws change, destroy the life of many people by using the anti-Semitic card. Yet the richest group of people on this earth do not have access to the Bible or the means to give the imposters a Bible. The very Bible they altered and used to keep the Israelites in bondage in their religious institutions. We are living in the information age. How can a country supported by the superpower nations of this world have a need and the spiritual wickedness in high places cannot help them? The synagogue of Satan run to assist their every need. The workers of iniquity better think twice before they run their ads on this channel. This daughter of Zion is vigilant. Let us continue. The message they are sending on the surface appear to be innocent. However, the intent and factual message is completely different from the words coming out of their mouth. The real message in the commercial, the synagogue of Satan wants to manifest a false messiah to build the temple. That way the abomination of desolation has a place to stand in the holy place, imitating scripture. The commercial made sure to say the workers of iniquity believe in the Jewish Messiah. Everyone should know by now that the Messiah is not Jewish. Israelites, don't you find it odd they choose our channels to spread their lies? 
Satan made sure his agents say they believe in the Jewish Messiah. By saying the Messiah is Jewish, many will vision the Messiah to have an appearance like the Jews of today. Can you discern the subtle ways the kingdom of darkness is planting the seed? Hi. I've been involved in Jewish outreach for over 30 years. This new form of evangelism that One for Israel so effectively uses is really revolutionary in 2,000 years. The ministry of One for Israel is an extremely valuable one in effectively communicating to the world that Jesus is a Jew, that Jesus is the Messiah of our Jewish people, and that Jewish people are coming to faith in Messiah. Christianity has preconditioned its believers with a graven image of the false Messiah. When the synagogue of Satan unveiled the false Messiah in the flesh, the people trapped in religion will accept the false Messiah. Israelites and strangers, when the Roman brown or blonde haired blue eyed savior appear and stand in the holy place, do not be deceived. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. When the workers of iniquity present their Jewish Savior, do not follow their Savior. I know social media has preconditioned many to be followers and not leaders via their follow me and subscribe feature on all social media platform. Whatever you do, do not listen to them. There is a purpose for everything. The scriptures inform us that many will come and say they are the Messiah. Do not believe them. But many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. The workers of iniquity want to present to you their Messiah. Do not accept their deception. Remember, Israelites, all things written in the scriptures must be fulfilled. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. The kingdom of darkness is using the sudden awakening of the impostors to manifest the Jewish Savior. With the sudden rise of Jews accepting the false Messiah, Satan will use the impostors to rebuild the temple. That way the false Messiah will have a place to stand. The false Christ is the abomination of desolation that Daniel speak of. Know therefore, and understand, that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the Prince shall be seven weeks, and threescore and two weeks. The street shall be built again, and the wall, even in troublous times. And after threescore and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Israelites, let no one deceive you. The falling away must take place first. After the falling away, the false Messiah, the son of perdition, will appear. He will exalt himself above the Most High. Remember, Satan wants to be worshipped like the Most High. Satan wants to exalt himself higher than the Most High. The false Messiah, the impostors are trying to usher in, will set himself up in the temple of the Most High to show that he is the Most High, the Elohim of Israel. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. It is important to be vigilant. The attacks by the kingdom of darkness are subtle. Before the abomination of desolation is set up, the process can take several years or a few days. When you plant a seed, 
It takes more than one day for the seed to reach maturity. The seed must go through a growth process. Sometimes the workers of iniquity can cast spells that will manifest in your life in the next generation or further down your bloodline. The kingdom of darkness stole the identity of the chosen people, the Israelites. The process of accomplishing this took multiple generations. The workers of iniquity had to bread out Mizraim first, alter the scriptures to fit their narrative. Once the tares reached maturity, the kingdom of darkness made their wild declarations. The scripture said the Israelites discontinued from the heritage the Most High gave them. Satan took advantage of the Israelites not knowing who they are, took the birthrights of the Israelites, gave it to his people. Since the true chosen do not know who they were, nobody could contest. The impostors lived several generations as the descendants of the Israelites. Now that the awakening is happening, Israelites are making themselves known. Satan and his seed must move fast because they know their time is short. The kingdom of darkness continuously plants seeds to accomplish its goals. Most of the seeds the workers of iniquity plant are to take effect in the future. That way, when it comes to pass, many will forget the origin. For example, the Most High is making it known how the kingdom of darkness is setting the stage to bring forth the false messiah. This event could take place a decade from now. The scripture said nobody know the time or the hour. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. If Israelites are not vigilant, in the future when the seed reach maturity, many will forget the warnings given to them several years prior. Israelites, this is how the kingdom of darkness operate. There is a purpose for everything taking place in the physical realm. Do not observe what is happening as if it does not influence your life. Everything the kingdom of darkness and its human agents do has an agenda. They work for the kingdom of darkness. The job of every agent of the kingdom of darkness is to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Some Israelites may perceive that demonic ads are worthless and have no effect on their lives. Israelites, it is important not to evaluate what is spiritual with a carnal mind. Do not use human logic to decode what is spiritual. Eventually, many would believe a lie if it's told repeatedly. The workers of iniquity are planting seeds. The imposters are fighting to keep their stolen identity. Israelites, make sure you are consistent with your journey. Do not allow the kingdom of darkness stop you from claiming what rightfully belongs to you. Do not let the kingdom of darkness influence you to give up. When you stand your ground, you would reap a harvest. Satan will do whatever he can to deceive you to prolong his dominion on earth. Israelites, you must sow seeds if you wish to be delivered. I am not talking about the seeds the false prophets in the pagan church worship, money. I am speaking of seeds that will set you free. Repentance, praising the Most High, adhering to His commandments, and living at peace with your people. Israelites, make sure you are sowing seeds that will allow your children to reap a harvest for multiple generations. It is time that the people of the Most High trust Him and listen to the Holy Spirit the Most High sent to help. And I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another comforter, that He may abide with you forever. Israelites, when the Most High revealed the heathen's agenda, believe Him and take heed to His warnings. If you don't, you will find yourself going in circles. In addition, living as a bondman and bondwomen in the land of your captivity. When the synagogue of Satan tried to intimidate and enforce their lawlessness, you must push back and not allow their deception to take root in anyone's heart. The time for Israelites to rise is now. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, We are thou not a desire. Let not thy hands be slack. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly. For of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time.
time I will undo all that and afflict thee. And I will save her that holdeth, and gather her that was driven out. And I will give them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth when I turn back your 